masaya natin ipaghanda ang pagdating ng manunubos tagapaglikas natin tuwiri mga landas mga alitan ay tapusin sapagkat si Kristo'y darating In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, and we ask God's mercy and forgiveness. In all humility, all together we say, I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son according to the flesh draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servants, mercy may flow from your word, who chose to become blessed of the Virgin Mary, and establish among us his dwelling, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Rest, says the Lord God. No, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts. But who will endure the day of his coming? And who can he stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lime. He will see it refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord, as in the days of old, as in years gone by. Lo, I will send you Elijah the prophet, before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day, to turn the hearts of the fathers to their children, and the hearts of the children to their fathers. These I come on his strike the land we do the word of the lord thanks be to god lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand your ways O lord make known to me teach me your paths guide me in your truth and teach me for you are god my savior Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, he teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see, your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy toward those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear Him and His covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at end. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. 
O King of all nations and Keystone of the Church, come and save man whom you form from the dust. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy toward her, and they rejoiced with her. When they came to the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, No, his name will be John. But he answered her, There is no one among your relatives who has this name. So they made signs, asking his father what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened, his tongue freed, and he spoke, blessing God. Then fear came upon all their neighbors, and all these matters were discussed of the hill country of Judea. All who heard these things took them to heart, saying, What then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mahalaga ang ating pangalan sapagkat ang ating pangalan ay bigay ng Diyos sa atin. Nung kayo, nung tayo bininyagan, tinawag ng Diyos sa pagitan ng pare ang ating pangalan. Binanggit niya ang pangalan mo at sinabing binibinyagan kita sa ngalan ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Ibinigay ng Diyos sa iyo ang iyong pangalan. Nung kami malit na bata, pagkatapos ng simbang gabi, mga itong mga oras, pauwi kami, galing sa pagsisimbang gabi. Kumpleto yung pamilya namin. Nanay, tatay, at kami magkakapatid. At uh, habang kami pauwi, sabi ng tatay, kasi yung gospel noon, ay tungkol sa mga pangalan, yung talaan mo ng pangalan ng mga ninuno ni Jesus, yun yung gospel na puro pangalan. Sabi ng tatay, mga anak, wala kaming may pamamana sa inyo, ha? Kasi di naman tayo mayaman, mahirap lang tayo. Yung tanging pamana namin sa inyo ay ang aming malinis na pangalan. Kami ng nanay ninyo, nagsikap kaming maging mabuting tao dito sa ating bayan. Wala kaming sinaktan, walang dinaya, walang niloko, walang inapi. Kahit mahirap lang kami, tinulungan na, pinagsikapan namin makatulong sa iba. Kaya ingatan ninyo ang ating pangalan. Yan ang aming tanging pamana sa inyo. Ang aming malinis na pangalan. Yan ang aming binibigay sa inyo. Nang si Kristo ay naging tao at sinilang sa mundo, binigay natin sa Kanya ang ating pagkatao. At binigay naman ni Kristo ang Kanyang pagkadyos sa atin. Binigay niya sa atin ang Kanyang pangalan. Kaya ang tawag sa atin ay Kristiyano. Daladala natin ang pangalan ni Kristo. Kaingatan natin ang ating pangalan. At ingatan din natin ang pangalan ng iba. Huwag nating sisirain ang ating pangalan at huwag nating sisirain ang pangalan ng iba. Kasi ang pangalan kasi sabi ko, napakahalaga. It's very precious. Parang babasaging kristal yan eh. Pag yan ay sinira mo, pag yan ay binasag mo, ang mahirap nang mabuhuli. Kahit 
pagdikit-dikitin mo pa yan, ligyan mo pa yan ng ilo para mabuo, may lamat na. Sira na eh. Hindi niyo alam, nakakasira kayo ng pangalan ng iba kapag ka nakakalag kayo ng magkwentong hindi totoo, pagtichismis, taytay ng kwento na wala namang katotohanan. Nakakasira ng buhay. Alam niyo, pag kayo'y naninira ng pangalan ng iba, para na rin kayong pumapatay. At mas masahol pa sa pagpatay. Kasi, pag sinira nyo ang pangalan ng iba, parang inililibing nyo sila ng buhay. Ito yung magandang paalaala sa atin. Ingatan natin ang ating pangalan. At ingatan natin ang pangalan ng iba. Kung sila ating igalang ng iba ang ating pangalan, igalang din natin ang pangalan ng iba. Tandaan natin, ang ating pangalan, bigay ng Diyos sa atin. Daladala natin ang pangalan ng Diyos. Damay ang Diyos sa lahat ng ginagawa natin. Bakit? Sapagkat ang lahat ng ating ginagawa, ginagawa natin sa ngalan ng Ama, ng Anak, at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Sitayo po tayo. Zechariah called his son John, which means God is gracious. Trusting in God's graciousness and generosity, we pray. And our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church and government leaders may truly show God's graciousness by their loving and persevering service to God's people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may appreciate our Christian name and dignity and live up to our baptismal promises. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families may renew their love, solidarity, and support for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may receive comfort and consolation from the prayers and encouragements of their families and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may finally enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the intentions of this Mass, and in the silence of our hearts, we present to the Lord our own personal intentions. Lord God, may the life of John the Baptist inspire us to greater holiness. Fill us with the Spirit as we work in the service of your people and make us all worthy of the name Christians. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation by which divine worship in His fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you, O Lord, that you may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our, of our Redeemer, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, true Christ, our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him. The Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Archbishop, Fidelis, his auxiliary bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, 
and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. Now in loving confidence, we pray to our Father in the words Christ taught us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you. My peace I give you. Do not look on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please me. Here is Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Prayer for the elections. Please kneel. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of God who guides the destinies of the nations. Let us pray together, deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord, from coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and to grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us to grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the announcement. Alinsunod po sa patakarang ibinigay ng IATF at ng local government ng Bayan ng Manawag kaugnay sa pagbaba ng ating lalawigan sa Alert Level 2. Ang atin pong Christmas Vigil Mass ay gaganapin sa December 24, 2021, Biyarnes, alas 9 ng gabi. Inaasahan po namin ng inyong pagdalo. Maraming salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant pardon and peace, O Lord, to those you have fed with heavenly gifts, so that at the coming of your beloved Son, we may hasten to greet him with lamps alight in our hands. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo at pakikisa sa banal na misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of the Mass is ended. Go to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. Ngayon po yung dasal para sa mga may sakit. Yung mga may sakit po na narito ngayon. At kahit wala po rito, pero naalaala po natin sila. Mari sila yung nasa mga hospital, sa mga tahanan natin. Tayo may mga may mga sakit din pero may mga taong mas maluba ang sakit kaysa sa atin. Alalahanin po natin sila sa dasal na ito. God our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our sickness. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all sickness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of religious articles in memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, candles, images, oils, scapulars, crucifixes, calendars, and the articles of devotion be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 